Yo, what's going on, peoples, man? This is Do Superb. On this week's episode of MC to MC, we got a special guest intro. He comes in, gives a little bit of backstory, talks about his new project coming out. We also talk about the new Tyler the Creator album, man. Me and Tom have a little uh, back and forth on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, can we? Yeah, we. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, y'all tune in. It's a yeah. good conversation. Yeah, well, good conversation today. Y'all see what's going on. And we What's switched going positions. On, man? We switched, you we know switched. what I'm saying? But y'all see all that, so it don't matter. Y'all might if it's a blooper cut or some shit. But anyway, welcome to episode 59 of MC to MC, man. You know, I'm your host, Superb. I'm O-Tom. O-Tom. You know, how's everybody doing today? How you doing, Tom? I'm, I'm really great. Doing great. I'm really happy. How you doing over there, Davey? Doing all right, man. Tico, what's going on, man? It's a good day, man. I got new toys. <laughs> New yeah, toys, new, man. There's a new board in Good here. To see my friend Ryan over here. Came through. Shouts out to Ryan. Shouts Ryan. out to Ryan. Yo. Y'all can't see how swagged out Tadiko is right now, but he's got like this pro fisher slash radio right. broadcaster fit going on, and I'm fucking with it. So it's it's hard. I'm repping all the, all the <laughs> brands today. <laughs> this guy right For here. Sure. The only hat I'm not wearing is my cowboy hat. <laughs> That's right. Hey, man. Hey, shout out to the Dragon Ball Z, bro. Right, man. You know what's going on, man. Kyle Kent. For sure. Power up. Uh huh. So, uh, yeah, man. Today, um, it's going to be pretty exciting um, episode. Um, it's going to be on a little later. Um, so, uh, yeah, pretty exciting um, episode. Um, intro will be on a little later. Um, so, let's start it off talking about this new Tyler album, bro. Like I was saying before, I don't think I've been this happy listening to an album in a long time. Um, yeah. I mean, to hear Tyler like this again, it's like it's like that wolf bastard goblin era kind of griminess, but with his new like perspective on things where he's been around All the right. world a lot more mm-hmm. and like you can tell it's just way more mature and a lot of braggadocious lines. Very braggy. This is like a victory lap for Igor, I feel like. I feel like that's what I this mean, is. I mean, I feel like you know, there's a few things I like about this damn tape. I like the whole gangster grills, like guy just fucking talking over everything. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of Paid and Fool. Okay. You know, I like you see Mitch and Ace in the club, and the DJ dude is always announcing them and shit. Like, yo, got my dude Mitch pulling up on the block, man. <laughs> yeah. Brand new whip. Fred, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you kind of got the announcer and shit through every track. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm fucking with this. I'm fucking with this. There's been a few people to do this now. The. The bringing back uh, the Gangsta Grizz- Grills that stuff. Uh, Gambino did it on Stone Mountain. Um, there was another one too that I literally I was t- talking about last night with Michael. But anyway, a few people have done this now, and I'm I'm liking it. I think Tyler's one of the first to like do it within the album, like within an it's, album. Yeah, not it was a cool. Yeah, it was an album kind of vibe yeah. going with this thing. So the Gangsta Grills thing. Was fun. He. <sighs> Yeah, he's presented like over like I mean, how many mixtapes? I saw a list where it was like know, 150 of the greatest Gangster Grills mixtapes. I like, don't even fucking so know. So it's hard man, to tell lot. how many it's fucking he's been lot. on. It is a fucking lot. That's yeah. all I know. But um, he sounds cool though. Whatever the fuck he's doing. Well, that, some I feel yeah, like yeah, sometimes yeah. it's over, overused and can be annoying sometimes but in this i think it was used perfectly in the right spots but this i think it's um, not i think it's just more so if the music is good that uh, also I, helps I yeah i think it's it might just sound annoying if you don't like the music yeah maybe it yeah was, uh, Girls is the, the debut album of dj drama mm-hmm. okay maybe that's like his well yeah maybe you know yeah dj drama maybe speaking of the production Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Lil Wayne ones. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of the production, production is insane on this. Lil Wayne, though. Oh what my God. That beat, the song with Lil Wayne on it. Was wind, it uh, Hot Wind Blows? Hot Wind Blows. 
Yeah, he oh. does. You know I, what I like about I swear Tyler he's around with that new Logic splice. He comes in with these 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 dope loops and melodies, and you think you know you're gonna hear a certain type of drums or something, but he always you know what I'm saying? He you with that little curveball. Drums man. are so chunky, so like choppy. His drums sound retarded, bro. Yeah, I mean they're they are so hard. I mean in a good way. Yeah, 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 yeah. like so hard. These are some of my favorite Tyler instrumentals ever. Really? Yeah. Like straight up, yeah. You really mean that? Yeah. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of Mad Lib uh, influence. I heavy. really like that damn NBA Young Boy. Track. Yeah, the NBA, that, and that's that another fucking... thing. His use of features, like he knows exactly how to use a feature. No, that's DJ Drama talking on everything. Yeah. Just looked up, yeah. Yeah. And fucking John's still alive. Yeah, man. <laughs> what the fuck is he? He's only like maybe like forty or some shit. Yeah, he's <laughs> not, not that old. I don't think. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what was that uh, little, the Uzi feature is perfect. That shit was crazy. The Pharrell. The Massa, run it up. Oh my god. Bro, he got Tizo touchdown on here, bro. Which that was, was cool. like. Yeah, that's a really. That's not a, a lot of people song. know about Tizo, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that's hard, bro, that he got him on there. I think that's going to give him a lot of looks. To hear him and Damo on a track again is also like. That was interesting. My high school self was screaming at that. The only thing that could have made this better is if there was an Earl feature, which I feel like would have fit in really well with the uh, production. But um, yeah. I understand why there's probably not. Probably because they just don't want to. No, I think it's more of like they're just on their own lane kind of thing. But it would have been really cool to hear them reunite on this one because... I mean, I think they're at like their tip top. Yeah, Earl probably. Yeah, Earl definitely would have sounded creatively. good on a few of these tracks. Um, but you know, he's not there. No. So, you know. Which is, you know, that's just more of like a. I can't criticize it for that because that's just me being selfish. I was saying <laughs> earlier though, man. I like the. I like the direction Tyler's been going in like these past like four years, man. Yeah. You know, the whole Flower Boy. Then you get Igor. Now you got this. Yeah. And you know, listen through. I need to listen a few more times, but like first first listen, you know, just going through, I liked majority of it just first run through, man. I'm I'm pretty impressed. I think that you know, he, every project he's come out with, like I say these past 4 years, man, has been pretty consistent. Yeah, and like I like the um the like running theme throughout it with the girl that uh is supposedly like one of his best friends that he like fell in love with and he feels bad about it. Like that runs throughout the whole album. That's really cool. And honestly, I feel like most of the bragging comes from that relationship within the album. So it's like he's bragging and talking about all this shit he bought and all this just to like work through the fact that like he can't be with this girl. And it's then there's hints at that on a few different tracks, and uh, I need to listen to it more. But I yeah. definitely think that's part of it. Like the brags aren't even like he's not really meaning to be like they're just like slight flexes. I feel like yeah. I feel like he's not overdoing it. Nah, nah. I, I mean, like, but for Tyler, you never hear him doing. But he that doesn't kind of brag stuff. a lot, so. I think it's cool that he's talking yeah. shit, man. To hear him be on that, like, do whatever you want type of shit that was, like, so prevalent as old stuff, too, is really cool. It's about um, time. What, that motherfucker's about to be 30. Ain't he already 30? 29. He's 29. He's saying like it's a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, bro, you know, he's, he's reaching a new, you know, phase of life. Yeah. You know, it's time to I don't know how much people bit. who got into Tyler during the Flower Boy <laughs> and Igor era are going to feel about it, though. Because it's very different from those two albums. Good. I think it goes very that's different. Great. I think it goes yeah. very different from Flower Boy. Yeah. I think no, that, all... that one track we listened to the other day. Like the Zoho. Because I haven't listened to it yet. Oh, does it go um, Lumberjack? Hard like that? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, it's pretty much similar like kind of like vibes. Way. Yeah, most of them are harder than that. Yeah, yeah some are. Yeah. That's like one of my lesser favorite tracks. Yeah, it is on one of my lesser really? favorites after hearing yeah. Everything else. Yeah. Where's this is definitely my favorite mm -hmm. album of the year so far, and I've only listened to it through, like, three times. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. I thought that was good. Yeah. It still was great. Yeah, it's still great, but, like, yeah. Once again, like, I just, I was so happy listening to this last night. It was just, like. How many times did you listen? I've listened to it 
all the way through like three times. Okay. But I've listened to like the Lil Wayne track and some of the other ones like all morning. So, yeah. I kind of skipped out on it the first day it came out because we were just busy and I didn't want to just like throw it on and not be able to listen to it all the way through. So I kind of saved it for last night. I'm glad I did. Huh? Oh yeah. You listen to it four hours straight. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty specific. All right, what are you, what are your, some of your some of your thoughts then, Dave? You know, we're oh, we're mic'd up today. Like I was telling uh, Ryan, yeah. I I don't see the features, I don't see the names of the songs, I just let it play through and get sucked into yeah. it. It does suck like when you're if you are dashing or Amazon and stuff, you have to like pause it or like get yeah. Pause yeah. It. Yeah. I feel I, that, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So Yeah. 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 I love the way the mix is. A lot of people are saying they don't like it, but nah, like that. Yeah, I got hear it on the rig. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's. Is I was it like very in your face type of raw. I don't even know. The I beats kind of swallow his voice a lot of the time. Okay. okay. But I was listening in headphones, so I, mean, I I wasn't getting that at all. But I feel like with Igor, his voice was low too. He did that on purpose. Yeah. So like maybe he's just kind of still going with that like same thing. Hot. Yeah. yeah, I mean I think his is sit perfectly in there. They are, I mean they're not as forward as a lot of other people, but the production is like it's just so good. I mean, God, there's a bass line on one of the tracks. I think it's the one right after the Lil Wayne one. I mean it's just so insane. I'm to figure out. I'm pretty sure I like that track. Anyway, yeah. Because I liked it. Yeah, it was called Massa. Yeah. Yeah, that one is, like, ridiculously hard. You know what? Um, I even like the little uh, skits, bro. Like, I like that damn Mama Talk skit, Oh, that bro. one is amazing. That shit's hard. So good. She's so like, good. Yeah, I die for mine. Yeah. yeah. I beat up a kid and I beat I'll up I beat up a kid. <laughs> The nine minute long track, the like. Oh, yeah, where you just talking about that girl the whole time. Yeah. yeah bro, it's crazy. Yeah, I think that's where, because he talks about it in that where he's like, I just bought this car just to feel like a certain type of way. And I think that's what most of the album's about. It's like, he's he's actually like kind of sad, but he's just like acting like, he's like just brushing it off with some expensive shit. You know that Pisces shit, bro, that emotional. Yeah. Little water baby. Yeah. But compared to, I mean, <laughs> compared to Igor, and like Flower Boy, ding, it's definitely ding. different. <laughs> definitely different. Uh, I don't know if people who got into Tyler during that era are gonna necessarily like it. Fuck the old era. I like this era. Well, that, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, no. I I feel like this is very much of that old era. No, I don't no, think no, it's no, 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 no. But it is. No, though. no, he's not talking about the same shit. That's no, the old era. yeah, no, he's that. That's what I'm talking about. It's better. It's he. It's like he was trying to do that stuff on the older ones, but he couldn't quite get it. But now he knows how to do all that stuff. Because, I mean, it's really similar sounds, similar rap style. Yeah, I give you that. It does have that older kind of bastard goblin kind of yeah. feel. I, I've always loved his drums. They've always, always been chunky. They've yeah. always sounded like a, a big bowl of chunky grits. Yeah, and he's always used, like, different kind of sounds, too. He's going to like that one over there. He's like, yeah, yeah. Like it, that I is a good way. Grits. Too, bro. Like, yeah, bro, it's gritsy. like some gritsy, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, very some, gritsy, some bro. Grits from yeah, man. So yeah, like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking loving it, and I'm glad this exists. Did he change the artwork on some of these things? Because the wolf ain't the same face. He's like literally on a bike. Yeah. Yeah, he had like alternate covers for a lot of the albums. Yeah, he does. That is true. Yeah. Like the wolf one was originally the blue one, but he really wanted to. To be the one with him on the bike, um, but the label didn't want that, so he. Like Cherry Bomb, and now he has Cherry Bomb instrumental there. Yeah. The original Cherry Bomb, I guess, with someone pissing themselves. Yeah, he had like four different covers mm -hmm. for Cherry Bomb. Yeah, I like this Wolf better, the one where he's on the bike. Yeah, me too. That's the cover for the record, like the vinyl. He probably changed it just because Lumberjack is like the same as Wolf, kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think it's very wolfy. This is, I think it's wolfy, but matured and. Yeah. So, what do you think the impact of this album is going to have, bro? Dude, I think this solidifies him as being at the top of 
I think he's in that upper echelon of all the greats right now. I think he's up there with Drake, uh, Yay, all them. Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm, I, like. I'm starting yeah. To agree with him. It's still different, but he is way the fuck up there now. Because he does mention like, "Yo, life is good. Like I'm doing movies. Like, yeah. I'm writing screenplays. Can't block now. I'm in like the best fest in the fucking. Yeah. His his stuff. Yeah, like he's, yeah, he's just as big as Drake or any of them. He's just a different crowd. Uh, no, Drake's a little way bigger. Uh, sure, but like Flognaw's bigger than OVO Fest by like a long shot. That's fine. He has long a festival shot. that's Golf bigger. Golf the floor. No, I just know from clout, from crowd size. Dude, OVO Fest isn't getting Kanye and Kid Cudi on headlining. Like that doesn't happen. Like. Yeah, OVO Fest is not like that. <laughs> Golf Floor is bigger than any clothing brand Drake has. Like, so much bigger. That's his brand name? Yeah. No, it's not. Like, they are, like, he is a, he's one of the top earners in hip-hop right now. Like, he's huge. People don't really think that, but he is huge. I mean, I'm not denying the fact that, you know. And his brand, like, the old... Odd Future brand, that still is being sold in Hot Topic. Yeah. And he still gets percentages off that. So, like, the golf stuff is just his now. But, like, all the old Odd Future stuff is still being sold. Tyler's done stuff with big brands. Yeah, it is. I can kind of see that. That's how Tyler's stuff is. No, yeah, it does. It resells for a ton of money. I don't know. I gotta check the yes. stats. <laughs> but I was about to say, do they have numbers on this? Yeah, dude. Like, I want to see evidence, statistics, and numbers. If if there's any oh. rapper's brand right chart. now other than Ye's that is on that supreme level, it is it's Tyler. His he does drops like that seasonal. I feel like I see a lot more. Yeah, the people. vans are huge. Yeah. I don't really see that many people wearing this shit though. I feel like uh, I don't. I don't. I've probably seen that a few times in my life. I feel like that's. I don't see it much around here. I saw it a lot in it's Cali. It's in Cali, yeah, because yeah. that's where he's from. Yeah, that's where he's from, though. No, so. I saw. I see song. Yeezys everywhere. True. Yeah. Speaking of golf shoes, I saw this soccer player. He was wearing some Jordan a golf shoe, mm-hmm. like Ooh. playing golf, but just Jordan. Yeah. Made for that. I'm just like. Mm. I've seen some Jordan one cleats that are just like so hot. When's the last time you go? Yeah, but I think uh, <laughs> the go- have you seen like the Jordan One like cleats? Yeah, <sighs> so uh, them hoes are hard. Bro. Yeah, I've seen those. There's easy cleats too. I didn't even know that. Oh, easy cleats. Yeah, I ain't seen no easy cleats. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure they're. Who knows how great the yeah easy cleats easy cleats okay easy fucking cleats man well I mean I'm not gonna back to your point I'm not gonna disagree with you know the fact that yes Tyler has created his own little mogul world but no he's not up there with Drake or Ye okay if anything we're just gonna say Tyler's in his own lane and we're gonna end it there. And we'll be back after commercial break, guys. And we're going to have a special guest. I feel like that here. discounts it, though. No, because no. <laughs> fuck that shit. No, fuck that shit. <laughs> I, I was trying to smoothly get out of there, though. <laughs> I like, mean, they no, sell around that. the same. <laughs> yeah, Tyler, Tyler outsold DJ Khaled with a lead Justin Bieber single. With a lead Damn. Justin Bieber single hey man, that was up, number one. Said that with too much intensity, bro. Like, yeah, DJ Khaled does not suck yeah, ass for one thing. DJ Khaled is a legend. <laughs> DJ Khaled is cool, bro. DJ is a kid. <laughs> that is true. That is minus some points, bro. That yeah, is, that was Khaled, bro. You need to get. Yeah, yeah, you need to. Good song, pop. Fucking star was the only good song on that album. Yeah, but DJ that doesn't. Obviously, but that's what I'm saying. Like his stuff always goes number one, though, especially yeah. with a. With a lead he Justin a, Bieber like, single. He has a very good business model, too. I like yeah. that. I yeah. like that guy. Rick Ross, too. I think I, 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 
Yeah, bro. You, yeah, bro. If there's you, anyone, you, <laughs> that's, you said that way way too much. All I'm saying, <laughs> all I'm <laughs> saying is. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I think Tyler's just as influential as Drake right now. In a different way, in a know. different no, I lane. I think he has a very big influence in his own world. Oh, Tyler yes. came out with a rap group that changed the game. They did. Completely changed the game, disrupted it, changed the way pe- people make music. He came out with a clothing brand that's bigger than almost any of the other rappers' clothing brands. Like, he does collabs with Vans. Uh, he did one with, was he? Yeah, like Converse, like. He has all that stuff down locked, but he owns all of his own stuff. Like he owns that clothing label. See, I, I'm not going to say that's cool. He's done all that, but he's not everywhere yet. And I feel like yes, he has this thing, but I probably won't he give him that. He did the soundtrack until, to the Grinch until he's saturated. But that soundtrack was whatever. It doesn't matter. That's like that's cool. He got that bag. Hard. He's it's cool. That soundtrack's whatever. It's cool. He got the bag. You know what I'm saying? But. All right, cool. You got the Grinch soundtrack. That's, but that's like I didn't even watch that damn movie. That is everywhere though. That's what I'm yeah. saying. That's like for Tyler, the guy who's was banned in a country to do the soundtrack to a kids movie a few years later. That's like unheard of. That's, like that's, that's unheard of. No one else has done anything like that. <laughs> like, like, well, I just need to get you a damn Tyler shirt or some shit. You need to start wearing. Yeah. People don't give Tyler him the credit stuff. he deserves. He deserves way more credit, and that's why I love that he's talking shit on this album because he doesn't do that. But he should be. He should be talking shit more than anyone. Yeah, for real. Yeah, in the last ten years. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know about. I don't know about. Like day one sales numbers, but I think Tyler <laughs> has more influence over music right now. That's you know for what? sure. I got Tyler, I might be inclined to agree with you that his his world is more ingrained right now because he's yeah. longer. It seems mm-hmm. like like I think Astro World is when Travis really got to start. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Extremely high star. And Very he's done high. it all with production only by him. Like. On this one is like the first time he's ever had production f- for more than one song with multiple people. Like two of the tracks have production with other people, but also with him. So it's like he's produced every track on every one of his albums, which that's is hard. insane. Like that's only no, Kanye that's cool. does that. That's cool. Only Kanye does that. Well, actually, Kanye works with a shit ton of people, so that's not true. But but no, that's what I'm cool. saying though. But Kanye but, has production credit on every track. But Kanye's production is cooler. I'm not saying that Kanye's uh, not cooler. I'm not saying look, that. I'm just playing, bro. I'm just getting, I'm just <laughs> bursting your bubble, brother. You know, but it's all fine. It's all good. I'm just saying, Kanye <laughs> or Talon needs to get the respect he deserves. Tyler sure. has his respect, bro. What I really talking? don't think he does. Who are you, who are you advocating does. for, bro? Who are you trying to get the respect from? We we, we respect Tyler. Yeah, for him, some, give him some names, bro. That's what I'm. But no, but for y'all to not think <laughs> that he deserves to be in that upper echelon is like, he does. Like if anyone does, he does. Well, maybe that's just how you feel. I think he. I think that's. I think it's facts. Yeah. I'm not really into his clothing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not really. It's not for me. It's not for me. Fucking poser. I mean, I will say like you know. No, if I wore it, I feel like I would be a poser. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, nah, he's on like some streetwear skate stuff. I'm not into that stuff. Yo, Why would I wear it if it I was? Is intro. Yo, what's goody, man? Oh. All right, he hung up. <laughs> I guess he's. Let's take a break. This album's yeah. amazing. So far, ten out of ten for me. I don't care. I yeah, say it's know, about. Man. I say it's about like an eight out of ten. Yeah. I'd say. Eight. As a diehard Tyler fan, this is exactly what I wanted, and I didn't even know I wanted it. So that's well, like some Kanye your, stuff to me. Rest your poor soul. Yeah. Rest yeah. No yellow flannel on this one for sure. Yellow. Guarantee. And Fantano gives it an eight or above. No, I think it's an eight for sure. It's money. I money might say like a mid to strong eight. Only electronic cigars. Just good job, Tyler. 
Proud All right, you. guys. We're going to go into this commercial break. I tried to earlier, but, you know, this guy had to justify himself. So we're going to take a nice little you talk that shit like light that. Tran- <laughs> transmission here, and we're going to be back with intro our guest. All right. Peace. Can't find a producer that fits you? Come on! We've got beats for that. Hey, y'all, we back, man. And now we got intro here. Hey. What's going on? What's up, brother? How you doing? Doing very well. You just came out here from L.A., bro? Yep. In town for a little bit. Some things. That's and you said you made the drive. Oh, I didn't drive back. I flew back. Oh, I you flew back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't do that. No, no. That's my plan. Like, that's why I went out there. I was like, if I'm going to drive, I can't go back. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm not making this Yeah, job. I feel that. Yeah. For back sure. and forth. Yeah, that's so. definitely a journey. <laughs> that's, man, that's, in a, itself, that's a full journey. In itself, for sure. So what you knocking out while you in town, man? You done came in. You made it here for the podcast, man. I know you're here. I know you're going to do some other shit, bro. Let's, yeah, let's pop I mean, this was, yeah, this was top of the list. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. Oh, you guys. I'm Word. honored. For sure, for sure. But, um. Yo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Getting some more uh, content for the album, uh, shooting a little more video. Okay, okay. Just like, yeah, more just content stuff. Yeah, yeah. I saw the third party video. I actually just checked that out recently. Or, That's or, on the new project. That's, that's the last it. track. Yeah, keep that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on a low. <laughs> new project coming soon, though, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm exclusive. So I, I, I got to hear you. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely listen to it when, yeah, it, yeah. when it comes out. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Third party. How'd you like it? I, I like it, bro. It's, it's, it's really good. I feel like um, that's what I was saying. What before the lost tapes? Mm-hmm. So I was listening to that. Mm-hmm. Let me see. We got I fuck with the BBW. Let's dance. Uh-huh. Uh huh. No walk. Lazy raps. Um, act like that. Cool that's project. The whole shit, man. It's really, really whole shit. Um, then I listened to the new. It's really different. Like you know the direction you went with it. Oh you yeah. You know you got it's a little more kind of like soulful on there. I see you got some singers and stuff, kind of background. Like you, you kind of went with a little orca- orchestrator approach, kind of. With yeah, this man. One. This um, this project is, I like to describe it as just like a real introduction, like no, <laughs> no funny shit no, to like me. <laughs> yeah, you know, like that was cool. Like I really like before the lost tapes and the lost tapes, but I was making a lot of music that I was thinking other yeah. people would like. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like, kind of like. Putting myself in a yeah. box rather than like giving like what I would actually do, music I would listen to. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel that. Yeah. So it's kind of like doing that. It's ironic that people liked it too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it worked and like it worked in my favor, but my spirit wasn't all the way with it. I you feel know that, what I mean? man. And it helped me get to like where I'm at, to where now I can like drop a project and people are going to pay attention yeah. and it's going to like mean something and like people yeah. will react to it. And like people know me more now than they knew me then. So yeah. it's going to be a real like, yeah. oh, Okay. It's, it sounds ambitious. Like you, I can tell. Like you put work into it for sure. Man. A little more hunger in it. Yeah, yeah a little it's more a hunger lot, in it, bro. Yeah. It, I worked on it. Like, dude, this is hours into that. Nah, it's, really, it's bro. Like, real. you know what I'm saying? Like, the whole thing, bro. Like, even like certain, like certain tracks. Like mm-hmm. your, your voice. You got like distortion mixes and all this stuff going. Like, it's like a a real like theme. Yeah, it's a, that's that's exactly you know what, I'm what I'm going for. Like, yeah. because you know, I grew up like listening to like albums like yeah. the Carter 2 where he has like interludes and intros and outros and skits and all yeah. types of things to where it's like when I do stuff I don't want to just kind of just like hey here you go yeah like I want to give people like an experience yeah. you know even if it's only a hundred people mm-hmm. listen to it it's like affecting that a hundred yeah. people you know what I'm saying yeah. and not just some throwaway like yeah you know I, I feel like now like even the bigger artists, like, they'll drop an album and the consensus, like, on social media is like, this is the best shit ever, the greatest yeah. album of the year, and it's like, two weeks later, no one's listening to it. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, it's really different yeah. when, like, something can just, like, last. Yeah. And that's what I want to do. Yeah, it makes stuff that sticks around. Yeah, and even if you, like, I described it in this, like, post I made of, like, I want you to, like, get it, enjoy it, digest it, get tired of it, yeah. crave it again, like yeah. your favorite food, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can like pick out on your favorite food for a week, you get burnt out, and then when you eat it again, it's like, why did I ever stop eating this? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, so that's the type of thing I'm trying to do with this. So I'm I'm curious here, I don't know if you can drop this information or not. We're going to see, though. Um, so what are some of the names on this new project? Because, you know, there's really not, it's just all together. Oh, how so I gave like, it to yeah, you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, 
which I liked, by the way, because yeah. it like I was like, this is flowing like just real nice. Like, yeah, it just... it's funny that file I sent you is like, is how it's gonna flow. I put like no dead space. Like, yeah, everything is gonna come together like like Ooh. a big. It's like it's not one big song, but it's like a it's a scene. Like, yeah, kind of what you were describing. Yeah, like, it's a it's a place. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um the track list is gonna come. I can't. Nah, yeah, okay. The track right, list we, is gonna come. We can't. We can't. We can't get that yet. Yeah. So I'm I'm curious. So okay. So you with Third Eye. Like third eye deep, man. Y'all, y'all got quite it's a few quiet. members over there, man. Yeah. So, how did you kind of come in to the whole third eye? Oh, um, yeah. Me and Chuck, uh, we met in like 2017, 18, like yeah. end of 17. Um, we met at a party, and it was funny because like I've been listening to his music for a yeah. long time, and I never really put a face with it just because I just, I just didn't. You know what I mean? And so when yeah. we're talking, like chopping it up, yeah. We end up like exchanging Instagrams, and I'm like, "Nigga, this is you." <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Um, and from there, we established a relationship, kept in contact, or whatever. And um, that was when I moved to Canada. I lived in Montreal for a year. Oh shit! Yeah. Um, and when I came back, we like rekindled that relationship. Just was kicking it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he, when he started Third Eye, he had told me about it. Yeah. Of like, yo, I'm about to do this thing. Um, I start this label, blah blah blah. But it wasn't really like an invitation then. He was just kind of like telling me about it. Yeah. And I was like, man. That's some shit. Yeah. That is some shit. And I didn't even really like push or anything. I wasn't even really trying to be a part of it. And then he came to me like a couple weeks later and was like, yo, like, you trying to be a part of yeah. it? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah um, man. And yeah, like, the roster like is deep. It's crazy. Like it's I've never really had like a team per yeah. se. So like being a part of something that was like really, really cool where we can like bounce off each other. Yeah. Like, everyone's talented. You yeah. know what I mean? Like being a part of something where there's nowhere I cannot find inspiration. Yeah. You know. Um, so how deep are y'all exactly? I know you got Ron over there, Chuck's there. Ron, yeah, Jordan, there. Chuck. I know Shrames Demo, is there. Shrames. Um, um sex part of it. Yeah, man. It's a it's a team. Um and even like now we're like everyone's kinda like working on their own stuff. That's what like makes it dope. Because yeah. like we're all so individual. Yeah. That it's like it's like the Avengers, like they go back to their planets when they're done yeah. saving the world. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So when we come together, it's like it's real fellowship and real like even if it's not on the music, yeah. too, it's just real dope. Nah, yeah. that's how it kind of like appears because it like it looked like all y'all doing your own thing. Yeah, like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Definitely, you had Sec on here, Shrams on here. Everybody kind of got their own little factions and things they already were kind of doing. Yeah, before, like Shrams yeah. got his own label before he yeah. brought it there. The Super Saiyan, Super exactly. Saiyan record. So yeah. I'm like, all right, everybody kind of had that thing before they already came together in Third Eye. So. Sound like y'all just a bunch of what I like to call it interdependency. Yeah, no, that's like, what it is. And yeah. I was I was doing my own thing. Like I, again, I don't have a team. I don't have a manager. Yeah. I was just kind of like doing it myself and like doing what I've been doing got me there. Mm-hmm. And then like it's all just like steps. You know what I mean? Interesting. So yeah. tell me more about the move to LA. What's what's inspiring that right now? Um, Why are you getting out the bill, at bro? The, uh, at the <laughs> what's going at on? the start of the pandemic. Um, <laughs> I kind of just like sat with myself and was like, something has to change. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm not gonna let, you know what I'm saying? Whatever was going, this was like lockdown, lockdown when everyone had to stay inside. Yeah. And I was like, something has to happen. You know what I mean? Cause this is about to change a lot of shit. Like I just felt it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, just looking around at my peers and shit. We do this thing where it's like, we just get satisfied really easily. Like really complacent. Yeah. I cannot. I cannot, you yeah. know what I mean? I have to like keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. So I like was thinking about a lot of things mm-hmm. to do. You know what I'm saying? LA wasn't even the first move or like the first idea, but it was like, what is gonna separate me, but also like keep me here. Yeah. So it's like, I can move there. I can move anywhere. It didn't even have to be LA. I can move there and like still have the internet connected to yeah. all of you guys. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's how we did this. That's how we yeah. set this up. So putting my name somewhere else to where it's like not local artist intro I feel you know what I'm saying like I feel like that's what I wanted to do yeah we have like our Nashville heroes the people that are putting the city yeah. on and like kudos to them you yeah. know what I'm saying like they got it so like I don't have to also be one of that I feel you know that. what I'm saying I feel like everyone wants to be the one in a sense and it's like whenever that happens cool but like I'm gonna try this you know, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, even yeah, if this do doesn't this. work, yeah. I'm doing it to where I can pass it on to someone else and be like, "Yo, 
don't do it like this. No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I did this, and that's all what it's all about. It's about passing shit to someone else, like and showing motherfuckers too, like yo, you can leave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people aren't touring. You know what I mean? True. So like, it's it's that thing of like, bro, I've been out there three months. And so, so you know what I'm saying? You got any people you want to shout out? From LA? You know, any producers, artists, people you working with, anybody? <laughs> It's crazy. Like, there's a couple people that have been out there. My homie Jordan Webb, he's from here. Okay. And like, I've been kicking it with him. And it's crazy. I don't have an LA producer. The homie I'm shouting out is from Nashville. Is that <laughs> hey, Jordan Webb? Jordan XX. Uh, that's no, a different person. Oh, okay. Different yeah, person. Jordan. You know, uh, Namir Blade. Yeah. Yeah, he's like attached by that way. You know. What I'm oh, okay. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah. But uh, he's the homie, bro. Super talented. Yeah. And, like, in like. You know what I'm saying? When it's when you're somewhere and it's like just you, the world feels like super, super. It's, it's ironic. It feels small. You yeah. Know what I'm saying like, so having someone there like helps yeah. you out. It's always good to go somewhere else and gain new experience. Anyway, I mean, especially when you're <laughs> doing art shit. So it's like, I mean, bro, it, it's like going from like Montreal back to <laughs> Tennessee to LA. I mean, that's just a wealth of experience. Yeah, man. It just showed in. me like this isn't it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying this is not all that's here. You uh, know what I'm saying? Hey uh, Terrence, so bro, how did it feel, bro, when you first moved here, man? When I first moved yeah. here? Yeah. Was um, like? I would say that it was something I was used to, but it's a difference between coming on vacation and then coming here to live here. Yeah. You know, co for the record, I used to live in Africa. So uh-huh. it was just like living there. My family I had family here. I've been here several times, but kind of just going to school, just the experience having these old cats calling me a man that I don't I didn't respect that. Because yeah. where I come from is like, you look old, you're my elder. It's sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. But the fact that a 41-year-old cat's calling me, hey, what's up, bro? That <laughs> threw me off. Yeah. Yeah. Just that little simple thing. Yeah. So it's like as much as, you know, I have the language, there's no language <laughs> barrier. But it's just like the little things that people do, the little things that make people tick. No, that is a huge, like, I can relate. Because going to Canada, it's like, it's different than going to California. You know what I mean? Because it's a, it's a culture shock. Like, it's a whole different, like, yeah. it's like the little, something that's specific as what you pointed out. It's some it's specific things that are, like, just different. You know what I'm saying? People, like, they just are different. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not a negative thing yeah. or a positive mm-hmm. thing. It's just a thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot. Of, I always say this when someone asks me about it. It's like kilometers and like Celsius mm-hmm. yeah. and like shit. Like I was like, oh, oh shit, that is throw yeah. me off. America is like the only people that do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm the other shit that so, would throw me off so much. I'm still pissed off, about that. Yeah, 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 it's different. <laughs> a one-hour time difference from back home is enough for me to where it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like shit like that. Uh, Fucking bagged yeah. milk, like bagged milk. <laughs> that always yeah. blew me away. It's weird, too, like bro. why? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird. <laughs> how was that like? Cause you were you're upstate. How far were you from Canada? Right I there. used to go to Montreal and drink underage, bro. So me, being, <laughs> look, look, look. reminds me of that seven show. <laughs> yeah. Me being nineteen, I'm when I moved there. I'm like an adult now. You know what I'm saying? So Yo. I'm getting in all the clubs, like no IDs, drinking, doing all this, and it's Damn. like. Yeah. Uh, it's just different, bro. Mm-hmm. It's, it shows like, like since I was younger, I was around younger people then. So like, they start everything just earlier because like, so we wait till like seventeen, eighteen to start underage drinking. Yo. They're underage drinking at like fifteen, sixteen because <laughs> Damn, they're only bro. waiting to yeah. get to eighteen. Uh, I was fifteen. 16. They're like bored of about nineteen. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing too. Yeah. So they're already burnt out when they're like an adult. So it's like yeah. not as much of a like. Oh, I gotta do this. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. That is a culture it. shock. I can see that. I can see that. It's some shit. <laughs> damn, eighteen, man. Yeah. You gonna walk up in the dance store, bro? Give me a bottle of henna, some shit. <laughs> so, like, you being in Montreal, mm-hmm. obviously, it's French, English, Canadian, and all. And I know the sentiment over there about people that speak English and not so much French. They they kind of got the French. The vibe. English, yeah, yeah. Um, but like, I guess going over there, did you feel like you had to adapt to that by maybe speaking some French, or people were still nice to you speaking English? Um, if they weren't nice and they were speaking French, I didn't know. So, like, <laughs> that, you know, that's that's that in itself. But um, I didn't feel any like pressure to like, Word. you know what I mean. I did because I wanted to. Like, I was learning French because it made it easier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But other, yeah, it it's wasn't, cool. I mean, French is cool. Yeah, it, it, like, why would you not want to be bilingual? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah that. Um, but no, I didn't really feel any type of like, oh, they're gonna not yeah. like me or anything because yeah. that's what made people like me like as soon as i started talking they were like oh shit yeah you are not from here mm-hmm. especially like if i was from new york it would have been different but being from the south yeah. i'm using slang and now i'm saying between yeah. every word so they're like 
you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was that was yeah. So even talking to helped. other black people, like what's they slang like out there? Like they definitely have a di- they have a lot of different shit. So like um, they have knock. Yeah, tabernacle. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, <that's laughs> <what I mean. laughs> Yo, but no, those two good. words, man, over and over. And that's and the first shit I learned. Like they're like, you got this, then you'll be good. You know what I mean? Um, but they use shit like, uh, say we're gonna like meet somewhere. It's like, yo, uh, reach here live. So it's like, meet here right now. Reach here live. Yeah. So yo. Like, you're reaching to the place, and like, live is like the time stamp. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, Dude, that is weird as fuck. Bro. It's a lot of shit. <laughs> that yeah. fucked me up. I'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? Man? But it's <laughs> funny. Like, it's yo. close enough to where like, if someone said that, I'd be like. Yeah, okay, I got, like, it, I got it, I got it. I think I got it. Deductive reasoning yeah. to like get to where, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, man, there's so many things I'm thinking of now. It's, it's just <laughs> different, bro. Like, Word. they have coins where it's like $2 and a dollar coin. The loony so and it's the toonie? Yeah, the loony and the toonie. So, like, the loony and the toonie, bro. Yeah. What the fuck, <laughs> man? Wild, right? But, yeah. like, you could have, like, a whole pocket full of change, but have, like, $15. I know, it's great. Yeah, I so, like, it. when you're throwing change on, like, your little cup holder, like, you can just scoop it's in crazy, there, and you dude. got, like, lunch, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> it's crazy, bro. It's, it's crazy fucking shit. with me right now, man. Make a hell. There's no 10 cents, no 5 cents, I don't think. It's yeah, no, like, everything's rounded. It's rounded I up. I think England yeah. has, like, coins that are worth a couple bucks, too. Yeah. Like, we're, like, the only country who doesn't want coins at all. Bro, we just want bills. You don't realize you're Americanized until you leave America. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the best, like, yeah. that's the sentence I'm going to use from now on. Yeah. Like, from when describing that, because... Again, the little nuances that I'm yeah. like, why do y'all do it like this? It's like, because this is how we do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's other ways, you know what I'm Man. saying? And, yeah, it's, it's dope, though. They're Commonwealth with England, too, though, so maybe some of their uh, customs are similar yeah. because of that. Uh, yeah. yeah, for sure, That's for cool. sure. But, like, the culture, like, you know how America's just kind of like, yeah, no immigrants. Like, they're kind of like, yeah, no, come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. add to the pot, you know? Like, really? so how we have... Uh, uh, most big cities have like a Chinatown. <laughs> um, like a have, Chinatown, yeah. Yeah, they have like that for every culture. Little Haiti, you know mm. what I'm saying? Jamaica Town, uh, you know, uh, Little Portugal, like all of these neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's mm. just like when uh, like when the World Cup's going on, it's like a festival. Man. Like, yeah. all, it sounds like all Utopia the over there, bro. It sounds it's like wild. heaven. It's wild. What made you leave? What, where are you leaving at? Me. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't a citizen. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me, I don't know if I can even. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, yeah. I was visiting. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Extended, yeah, vacation. extended vacation. Extended yeah, vacation, man. <laughs> so yeah, I came back Um, also just because like I saw stuff really, really starting to bubble here. Yeah. Stuff was like really starting to pop off. Shows were like really going crazy. And before I left, that's kind of like what I was doing. I threw a couple of shows yeah. just myself and put some of the homies on the lineup. And I wanted to get some more of that. Yeah. Yeah. Like put in, put in my name there. I made like a base. So like when I look at just, you know, Spotify stats and shit, I see like yeah. literally Montreal, like my mm-hmm. plays and shit. I'm like, man, I got to do this other places. Interesting. When were you in Montreal again? Mm-hmm. Was it, it during was, 2020? No, it was 2017 through like. I came. I moved back 2018, but like I was back and forth a lot. So like okay, into yeah. like 2019, really until the pandemic started. Okay. Yeah, because like the border closed and shit. Yeah. 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 It went pretty yeah, hard. Like, I, yeah. Can't I come think back, they bro. still got to close right now. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> like you got to quarantine and shit, yeah. or you can only be there. Like you got to write a letter and say yeah. what you're here for. And, like yeah. I got, I saw these stories about loved ones meeting at the border. They got stuck, so they'll go at the border, go hang out, and that's how they meet each other throughout this whole COVID thing. So oh. they can't even go across to hug them. It's just like, oh, I'm here, and you're where that camera is at. And it's like, I love you. It's just like, the whole time. It's some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had a girlfriend when I was like, when I was there and came back, and like, pandemic and all that, it was just like, ah, uh, yeah, now this ain't yeah. going to <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, yeah, man. COVID it was some again. shit. It's COVID strikes. <laughs> COVID. So, okay, you come back, man. You come mm-hmm. back from Canada. All right. Canada Adventures. Yeah. Now you're back in Nashville, man. So, you see everything popping off, too. So... What do, what do you feel like the direction is going here, man? Like, you like see, immediately like, or when just, I came back? Just not, not right now, like, immediately. Oh, man, I see it like, I see, it can only really get better, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's just like a matter of like time, really. Like, and like, I feel like it's not even, let me take that back, not a matter of time, a matter of platform. Like, as soon as like, and it sucks, but this is reality. Like, as soon as a major, major platform is like, yo, Asheville, this artist, boom. Yeah. And then I feel like it'll like happen. 
Yeah. I, mean, I feel like it's gonna take like one person to like break open the floodgates. Yeah, and it's the it thing. Could be of, any like, good one, bro. Be good. Yeah, there's yeah. so many. There's so many. <laughs> and I think that might be the thing because there's a lot of us. Yeah. There's a lot of us, so it's kind of just like, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? It's gonna take like one song to like break out, bro. To that, where like more than just Nashville's listening to it. And we just gotta like push that. It's not a thing of just like we just gotta do it. It's it's up to us. You know what I mean? It's not up to like anyone deciding who is going to be is just going to be like someone's going to do it yeah uh, someone's going to do it and it's going to have to be for themselves though yeah that's like it, that's my approach you know what i mean i'm not doing it to put nashville on i feel like if i put myself on nashville is where i'm from so by product yeah it will be on you know yeah. what i mean and that's that's how i see it honestly and that's why again i moved to where like i can show and then when i'm out bro when i'm in la yeah showing people nashville artists they think they know the song because the songs are so good and they're like, Yeah, I've heard this. It's like, I know you haven't. <laughs> I know you haven't. But it's like we're it, straight capping over there. It just what? shows like our music can travel. Our music yeah. is not just like it's a southern sound, you know what I'm saying? It's us. Yeah. But like that shit is great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit is really we just have to put it there. You know? Yeah, for sure. We really just have to put it there. So okay, at the at the cannot do set, yeah, you know, yeah. there was a whole bunch of like MTSU cats there. So did you go to MTSU? Nah, man. Oh. I didn't go to MT- MTSU. I, uh, how did I get to that yeah, bro, shoot? How did you get, how did you get there? <laughs> how did you get there, um, bro? I feel like someone was just like, yo, pull up. Uh, Sevy shooting a video. Yeah. And I just pulled up. Honestly, I think that's what it was. Because um, I got cool with Savvy. Uh, there was a show called Coogee Fest. Coogee And that's when I saw him for the first time. Um, we didn't even, I don't think we talked then either. I just like followed him on Instagram yeah. after that. And then the next party I saw him at, we like, Hit him with the, you know what I'm saying, tap in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Type, that uh, face-to-face connection. Yeah, yeah, talk. Yeah, man. But yeah, um, and dude, I fucking love that kid. I fucking love yeah, that kid. He's, he's a good kid. He, yeah, man. It's going to be someone like him. Yeah. Because yeah. like, he's not even from here, and how I've seen him infiltrate the scene and make himself like, yo. Yeah. Like, that is what it takes, and it's all him. Super impressive. You know what I'm saying? It's really like, you listen to him, and it's like, oh, this is Savvy. Shout out to Savvy, man. Shout out to Savvy. savvy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. bro. Great kid. Had a good amount. I mean, I, mean, I say kid. I'm only two years older than him. Yeah. But like, he has that, like, I want to protect him. He has that yeah. spirit. Yeah. Man. It's like, yeah. For sure. I mean, there's a lot of cool people on that set, man. Shouts out Georgie. You know yeah, yeah bro, the whole EK, squad. Bro, the whole, yeah. yeah, bro. Yeah. Like Cam, Cam, Cam bro. Yeah. Cam That's is a cool Cam, thing. Bro. That's a cool yeah. thing about that video is there's just like a lot of people in there that like Dude, eventually cool. like. Lloyd Flannel, bro. Like, There's gonna be like, so bro, many cameos. Sure. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah. shout that when I think of shit like that, and I see just like videos and all these like BTS things where it's like all of these people together. Five, ten years from now, these are gonna be those like vintage type videos yeah. going around on Instagram. Like all they they all knew each other. Yeah, like, like they were all together the, in the parking lot. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's in this video. He's in this video, and when we're all like, yeah, that shit's gonna be beautiful. Yeah. I think that was like the first shit I had to kind of like process because I was thinking like, you know, I knew about like Savvy and all those guys and Brian Brown, Chuck. Mm-hmm. But I'm just thinking it's like, oh, uh, Nashville. I think that video was like where I was really like, oh, shit. No, there's like a whole scene in Murphy's, bro. It's Man, a whole other scene. A whole other scene in Murphy's, bro, that like is like, again, they they don't need to try and like make it Nashville. They just need to do their thing and then it's going to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean, I've seen it and like, it's always sounds like we were talking about, but I've seen it to where until other people are like, oh, yeah, this is cool, then people decide that it's cool. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, I think it's just a part of human nature, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's just how it happens. But even me moving away, my accessibility being like, not as like, hey, just pull up. Yeah. People are wanting to like work and do shit now. And I'm like, yeah. Nigga, I was. I've been there for five years. Like, you get it this whole time and now yeah. I'm gone. You want to Yeah, work. the difference between. The scene now mm-hmm. compared to like three or four years ago when I was doing stuff. I mean, it's completely different, especially shows and stuff. Like I used to, I mean, I never saw this many shows happening like hip hop centric, like yeah, R and B centric. It's wild because we've <laughs> we've been doing this shit like since like high school. Like yeah. the homies, like I went to National School of the Arts my freshman year, and then I went to McGabby. Okay, and, like I kept a lot of the connections when I went to NSA, and they were like. While we were in high school, they were throwing shows, it was yeah. just like house shows. Like yeah. someone has a big ass house and they clear out the living room and yeah. the DJ right there, bro. And that's a 
thing that showed me like, yo, we can do this. Like, we don't need the big ass promoters to do it. We got we got ten people. Each person throw a hundred dollars. Do the math. That's yeah. the venue. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. from there on, we already have people that are DJing, engineering, people that went to SAE and shit, know how to run the boards. All we need is the space. You know? Yeah. Like there was a show Saturday night, a rave I went to at have you ever been to CE Gallery? Bro, I was Bro. just talking to Clarence last night about that. He showed me the footage. Shout out Clarence. I got to get shout, you on here. Bro, shout hey, out Clarence. Shout out Terrence, too. His brother at uh, SPV shop. He he Terrence. Bro. Terrence. Home. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah I, I went to that. I wasn't even supposed to. I was just like, was Bro, out. you was at that, dog? That footage was live, Dude, bro. That I shit was, was packed, out, dog. And I pulled up, and I was like, yo, what is this? And like. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Commercial break? All right, yeah. Let's let's break it right quick. Let's get back into that. I want to hear this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is. <laughs> Did you just find out your track isn't what you thought it was? Don't worry. We got samples for that. We back, man, and we talking about that CE gallery, yeah. bro. So yeah, I uh, I pulled up at this show. And I had seen, like, people's stories, like, inside of it. And yeah. I was like, what am I about to get into? <laughs> so, like, I was in the car, no bullshit, for, like, an hour, like, getting my mind right. I was just yeah. like Daniel Caesar and Frank Ocean because I'm like, yeah. I know this is not what's going to be in here. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, let me get as, like, tranquil as I can yeah. before it gets riled up. I was, like, doing the whole thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> so when I walk in, though, I'm like, bro, I see one of my – you know Mania? Nah, I don't know Mania. DJ Mania. Shout out DJ Mania. He is a uh, – Amazing, amazing, amazing uh, house music DJ and okay. EDM, all of all facets, bro. He's dope, dude. But um, anyway, he's his set is on when I walk in and I see him. I'm like, okay, familiar faces. We're here. I'm like, just this ain't my scene, but hey, I'm with it. I'm yeah. just like fully open to what's going on. I agree um, and then I meet Clarence. He like pulls up on me and shakes up just introduction yeah. type shit. He's like asking if I'm from here, and I'm like, no. I mean, I'm like, yeah, but I live in LA. All this, all that. He plugs me with a dude out there who's doing the same thing, like, at CE Gallery. And, like, as soon as I get there, bro, the shit's going up. But anyway, back on him, his space, bro, is exactly the type of shit I'm talking about. Where, yeah. like, we have a space perfect for the things we're trying to do. Yeah. And getting people there. Uh, Visionar uh, Magazine had a, a mm -hmm. showcase there. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, that's where they had that event at? Yeah. Damn, yeah, CE yeah. Gallery popping, boy. Popping, bro. And it's, like, again, all these people. That had, damn near, everybody from the Can I Do video was there along with people from, like, Memphis and Ohio and shit. I wasn't even there. I was going to go, bro. I missed out on that, Yeah, we were going to go, but we just... Any event, bro, that's like that, I was about Yeah, probably, yeah. For real. I think we watched one of the game... Yeah, we was watching Game 7 or something. I think it was that Nets game. Had to tune in, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm in L.A. looking at it, and I'm just like, man, this is the type of shit, though, that's going to make it happen. And then people... Recording it, shit like this, bro. Just having the content, yeah. yeah. That's a lot of things that. That's what I feel like we lack. And on consistent the most. content, yes. like, yeah, like a lot of people <laughs> aren't. A lot of people aren't consistent, bro. Like, let me. So look, when I was making the album, right, in my studio was literally just like this. I have my laptop and then I have the TV behind it, so yeah. I can put shit on while I'm doing my thing. Yeah. And I was watching Wiz Khalifa's old day to days, like. Back from oh, bro. Bro, that was that like was my. Because it's sick, man. Because it's cut. just on. You know what I'm saying? On mute, and it's just going like there's a hundred and some episodes, so I don't have to like tweak it or nothing. <laughs> yeah. And oh, as I'm watching those, I'm like, dude, his whole career is on YouTube. Yeah. Like, he can show his kid, like, yo, if you have a question, just go watch this episode. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He can watch it all back. You know what that's I mean? That's crazy, man. And that's. That was where this content thing came from. I'm like, yo, even if he wasn't putting out music, his supporters and fans had something to look forward to every Thursday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's documenting that journey. Yeah. And, and that's what people love because I'm seeing it and I'm like, yo, he's in the same hotels that I'm staying at and shit. Like, yeah. he's making it look really good. But like, yo, this shit is way more attainable than like we really think it is. Like, yeah. the gap is not that big. Yeah. So again, watching this, I'm like, yo, I can really make this shit happen, bro. Like, yeah. I can really do this shit. He was like the coolest motherfucker in the world in like 2010. Yeah. Like, yeah, he was wearing camos and yeah. the chucks and the patch in their head. You know what I mean? And so, like, that's just because people could relate because they could see him and be like, yo, he's he's not that far off from us. Yeah. yeah I was big on Wiz around that time. You know what I'm saying? I was huge. Like, yeah. when that was the Taylor Gang thing was going on, I was super like, I future and shit. Yeah. But, bro, like, again, I could not deny the influence. Yeah. You know? Um, 
But that content, bro, that consistent content, that's what a lot of us lack. And it's just, we just got to do it, bro. We just really got to do it. That also falls into the complacency. Because, like, people can, like, do a thing. I'm a victim of it myself. Like, yeah. drop something and, like, really go hard with it for two weeks. Yeah. And then after that, yeah. it's like, yo, on to the next go thing. check my shit. Yeah. And not even on to the next thing. There's nothing else. Yeah. It's just like, yo, I dropped this. Go listen to it. Yeah. Yo, I dropped this. Go listen to it. Yeah. Like, you know, um, and it's no one's fault. It's yeah. just like, bro, you just got to, like, do it, bro. People respond to, like, their fucking, their fucking attention span is this. Yeah. So, so like, true. in that two seconds of it falling on their shit, if you're not giving it to them, they're mm-hmm. going to. I mean, immediately you scroll too. by everything we, yeah, all, yeah, do yeah, yeah. we all do it it's you know good what I mean? branding Thanks. and marketing and stuff like you have to have like the, the, how you sell it has to be almost more creative than the fucking than the project. product than the product yeah. that is a bro that is Thanks. it you know people that's our thing we're so talented here yeah we are so the music is not the problem yeah you man. know what i mean like everyone here is so so talented but it's just a thing of asking for help too like if your thing isn't branding and marketing there's someone that can Get your social yeah. media popping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so we have to do that. Like, Reach put, out to Thy Neighbor. Reach out to anyone. Put a tweet out. Put a GoFundMe out for, like, help. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, because <laughs> that's our thing. We don't really have an image to sell. We yeah. have really yeah. good music to sell, but everything around it. And branch out, bro. Like, yeah. people want to see who you are. That's why I always go back to that Childish Gambino. There's a Childish Gambino interview from, like, 2012 where mm-hmm. he was talking about... No one wants albums anymore. They want like a whole world around it. Like they want everything having to do. Yeah. Like it's you can't just get away with just having good music anymore. Exactly, exactly. Because like when you, which is kind of a shame, but it, but that's what that's I was the way it is. It's the reality. It's cooler yeah. almost. It is cooler. Like, Kanye like, kind of started that with like the oh world. Big, yeah, big thing. Like he's a huge influence. Uh, a lot of people might not know this. The weekend is like my biggest like creative influence. Really, okay. since 2011, like seventh grade. Like, okay. House of Balloons the first time. Yeah. Yeah, 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 man, we gotta plug I mean? him in with Robbie Russell, bro. So yeah, like, with real. him, he creates a character for each project. Like this last one, this shit dropped in like 2019, and he's about to tour for it this year. Yeah. No, next year. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he creates a whole character around whoever, or like whatever the project is. Same with Yay. Yeah. Like the little teddy bear. Yeah. He, does, he yeah. has a different outfit on with every project, and that's what you got to do. You have yeah. to sell people like a lifestyle like yeah. when i brand myself and i'm meeting people and like networking or whatever you know what i'm saying i don't just be like hey i'm about to do this i'm this and i do this yeah. it's like i'm just talking to you yeah I just have a conversation with you so at least the bottom line you like me yeah so then when like by the end of it you get my instagram the next day you go see it and i post something it's like oh shit he does this yeah and this i feel like, like it has to start there the like you have to yeah you have to yeah. like the person like exactly. you're not gonna just automatically like go check someone's stuff out if you mm-hmm. haven't made that personal connection how many first? times has someone just send y'all a link yeah you know and just yeah. hey go check this out yeah. or just not even say check this out just send you the link literally and like, yeah and Bro, like how I think of it of how I would respond to things. That's yeah. just how I pretty much treat everything. Of like, if someone was all in my face trying to sell me something, hand me a mixtape. Like, sorry. Bro, I feel you, bro. I've yeah. definitely been on both sides of that spectrum. I've been a nigga sending links, and I've been a nigga receiving links. And it's yeah. just you have to figure out a way to to just do it. Like, I don't yeah. have a manager, so me sending out my project to all these blogs, I'm having to type up these long things and like yeah. really go into like being presentable. You know, sure. like. In my short time in LA, I've seen like a lot of these people like that are up there, and I'm like, "Yo, y'all suck." Yeah. <laughs> like you have you you made it, you got your thing, like, but you are not a good person. Yeah. <laughs> you know what oh, I'm saying? Man. Like, and even my homie, like he had he works for a blog company. Uh, he was doing an interview yeah. with this big up photographer dude, and I was there just kind of hanging out, seeing how it went, and I was like, "Yo, like, what are you doing, bro? Mm. Like, you are you." And this is how you act? And, like, yeah, it's wild. Like, yeah. people can have bad days. People yeah. can have this. And, like, I'm taking all of that into consideration, too. It's like, damn, bro. Like, the facade. Yeah. The facade. The, cap, the cape is taken off. Like, mm. you yeah. really see it. And you really see how many people go off of, like, their Instagrams. Oh, yeah. Like, there's a lot of just walking Instagram pages. Yeah. Mm. You know? It's, like, no depth. Yeah. They're like zombies out here, man. Sounds exhausting. It's, it is. It's, <laughs> dude. Just walking dude, around, man. Wild, lifeless, man. bro. I really... It's, and it's not that eye-opening, because I've, like... 
me moving to LA, I've been there plenty of times. You know? So that kind of prepared me for it. But just really seeing it in real time and even being at parties where like some influencers might be at or some rappers that are up there, so they might be there. And it's like this. It's like a video game. See LA. I'm going to have to plug in with my cousin K. Wash out there, man. He in a Hawthorne area. But then, you know, he be saying the same shit. You know, he producing stuff out there. He actually, like, he worked with, like, Calm Day Garçon now and shit. And, mm-hmm. um, oh, dope. Yeah, you know, um, in the Virgil Normal store. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, yeah, there, yeah, Like, Shirley Karan and them. That's, like, his mentor. So, like, you know, his whole thing with LA, he's like, yeah, man. He tell me all the time, like, yeah, bro. A lot of people here, man, you know, like, they cool or whatever. They doing their thing, but they really not, like, on their shit. They not yeah, really executing, like, how they could be out here in LA. Like, And that goes to, that showed me, like, uh, kind of what I was speaking on earlier about the complacency here. It's not just a local thing. It's kind of just like, in a, it's like a again psychology thing inside yeah. of people, like you know. And you just you just got to be built different, honestly. Like yeah. me finding out all this stuff, like even just like the marketing and the branding and shit. It's kind of shit I found out myself because I wanted to see like, what is it that's like yeah. gonna separate? You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's like, it's like fundamentals. It's like. Kyrie couldn't be Kyrie without doing the Mason drill. Exactly. A times. Exactly. It's like people jump right into like the thing that they think is going to do it, the fucking half court shot and this yeah. shit, but they can't even make their free throws. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and that's that's really where I was like, okay, album artwork. People want something to look at that's good. It looks good on their Spotify. Like just shit that looks yeah, good. Man. Okay. That's the thing. Again, people get really just over shit quick. So I need to have something that's going to keep people in there, you know. I think um, Canvas now too, like the little that video bro, thing. I, and I, yeah. have, I love like it's lame, but I love aesthetics and shit yeah. that like what I'm saying, yeah. shit that looks no. good. No, that's so, not that's not lame. It's that's a huge a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. I know, not not yeah. that it's lame, but it's yeah. just the word aesthetic now is corny. Yeah, and like tap in like those yeah. little yeah. words. So it's like, that's what I mean. But no, like that's and people don't pay attention to that. Yeah. You know, like I I have multiple Instagrams because for my artist page. I don't want to just be posting like selfies. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. I will give you like what you want as far as like, bro, this is something I just came up on. So I didn't follow Drake yeah. ever until like two months ago. Mm. And I followed him and I was like, yo, you're the most famous person in the world pretty much. And you post every other day. Yeah. And there's people that are thinking it's like corny to like yeah. post. Yeah. And it's like, yo dude, like if I'm on the same team as Kobe Bryant, and he's practicing way more than me, and I suck. What does that say about me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's the best, and he's doing all of this. Yeah. And I'm just like, all right. And I'm like, no, this is going to work. This yeah. will get by. No, man. Not like, you really got to do it, bro. You yeah. really got to do it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, I, I, I see that a lot with TikTok. Like, people are afraid to, like, get on TikTok and Dude. do stuff on TikTok. I mean, <laughs> Dude. shit, I'm kind of like a fuck so out. Look. But, like, people who do it keep, right, keep like, that going. I got a TikTok we have... Story. We have a buddy of ours who just started doing TikTok stuff, and he got like a hundred thousand followers in like a few months. Dude, TikTok is crazy, and it's like he was someone I never would have thought would blow up on TikTok. And that's the same thing. I don't run TikTok. Like, I'm not making it, but I'm definitely like if I'm dropping stuff, I'm putting it on there too, yeah. just to where whoever sees it, yeah. it comes up on somebody's shit, you know. Like, so it's it's the same with all that. So you know, I like to do Uber now and then. So uh-huh. I ride with this lady yesterday who was a TikToker. Uh-huh. And she was out here for um, a little convention. It was like seventy TikTokers or whatever. But I think I think she had about like eighty thousand followers or whatever. Top guy, like a couple million or whatever. But yeah. her whole thing was just like the whole back to the consistency thing. Yeah. Because she was just saying like, "Yo, you know, I, I was a stay at home mom or whatever." She was just like, "You know, at first it just kind of started off with me looking on TikTok, certain posts and shit." And she was like, "You know, why not? I started posting this shit." And you know. You know, she wasn't getting a lot of views and shit at first, but she was like, she just kept doing it. And you know, I know the TikTok algorithm's a little different too. Like, Mm. you can have certain shit that just blows up. It's so fucking cool though. Yeah, I've noticed that like people upload like, they do those whatever challenges or whatever, they'll do like four different videos of the same thing, but it'll just be like different versions of Mm -hmm. it. But one of them will have like crazy numbers and then the other ones are nothing. And it's like, how does that even like, what makes it? Yeah, it's and that's the thing too that goes into the consistency thing. Because if you're not posting a lot, your algorithm like you have to really, this shit is real. Yeah. Like algorithms and like fucking shadow banning and all that shit is real. So like, oh yeah, you gotta have like your shit there. And even if it's not a post every other day thing, it's like people want to like feel like they're involved. 
Mm-hmm. It's like it's past like even like your music at this point. Like everyone wants to see be represented and like you know. So if you like be yourself, how I'm doing with this album, yeah. like I'm putting shit in there that I feel like is niche to me. Yeah. So, yeah. but I'm sure out of the billion people in the world, someone is gonna be like, oh my god, I love this too. Yeah. I didn't think anybody liked this. You know what I'm saying? I grew up like people see me now and they're like. You don't know what Pierce the Veil is or Ask Now <laughs> or Dance Gap and Dance and like of mice and men. Yeah. And like, but no, dude, I was at Warp Tour and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's, so it's that, who you are as a person. Yeah, Asking Alexandria. Like, like, no that in a like, yeah, like, no So, like, yeah. exactly. And there's like, people don't think the, the dude that looks like me is on that. So, if there's yeah. another dude that looks like me who's like, kind of not in the closet, but like, kind of just like not really showing that side of himself, yeah. it's like, oh, like what Tyler does. Perfect example of like yeah, just yeah. representation of like, yo, <laughs> I look like this and I'm doing all of these things, so you can too, bro. Exactly. That's, that's exactly. Tom felt that one in. Uh, yeah. like <laughs> I was literally just talking about that before you got here. No. Did you yeah. fill him in on what we were talking about before you showed up? Uh, we were just talking about the album. Well, I thought I was going to talk about it, but. No, you know what I'm yeah, no, the albums, bro. Do you like it, bro? That is again. I was the future kid writing it on my shoes. Exactly. Like, niggas yeah. wasn't there. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> like, there, there. Yeah. No. So seeing him now, like, bro, it's it's what I kind of what I've been touching on the whole time of like he's reinvented himself but stayed him. Yeah. You know, and like That's true. keep people kept people in like from back then to now, and then being able to like navigate the mainstream and still again keep your integrity. To where, like, this is still me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not biting. He I'm never not, sold out for anything. For like, anything. Yeah. And then, like, he wanted to do the shit, and he did it. It's like, I want to make clothes, so I'm going to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to shoot my videos how I shoot my videos, so I'm going to shoot my videos. Yeah. Like, all of that, bro. I I really, that's a huge, another huge inspiration, because it's like, it shows, bro. You just trust in what yeah. you're doing, man, and someone's going to fuck See that surprise? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I see that, man. I we were literally that. just talking about it. That's so funny. Because <laughs> that... They were giving me shit for it. They were like, nah, Tyler's not that. Me, yeah. Tyler's not up there with everyone. Like, I mean, I'm not, bro, he he's not. You're saying he's like on Drake's level, bro. Like, it's, just, it's like, he's not. So, so how do you feel about that? Yeah, influence wise, influence wise, man. Like, he's got a big influence. I'm not denying what Tyler's done. I fuck with Tyler, bro, but he's not up there, bro. Like, I was talking about not. this in the barbershop, like, literally Friday. And my, like, I have two top fives, like the realistic top five of who's really it, and then my personal. And Tyler came into like my personal, and they were like, Tyler. I was like, yeah, like, what do you mean? Like, yes, Tyler. Bro, so like, he, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. But like, his thing is like, he doesn't even care. Yeah. He doesn't even, and that's what kind of like makes it also a thing. Yeah. You know, like, he's doing his shit, and like, it got him a Grammy. Like, yeah. off of like, and that album could have been in a different genre category, but yeah. like, he I'm glad it, it wasn't though. He did it, bro. It's like you can't deny what's in front of you. Like he has a whole festival. You know what I'm saying? Like, and everyone there looks like him. Yeah. It's not like they're coming to Rolling Loud for yeah. like specific artists. It's like under the umbrella of we like Tyler the Creator, so we're coming yeah. here. You know, and yeah, I, I'm sure OVO can yeah, definitely do that, but it's like. A, <laughs> It's, it's a different crazy, thing, man. bro. It's a different. Yeah, just thought it's, about all this shit. It's, it's a different thing. I, I don't even think it's comparable. They're not. Honestly. That that is true. They're not the same. Th- I feel like Tyler, Drake's fans are more general, like music fans. general audience. Yeah, like, and my mom likes Drake. Yeah, like, you know. Tyler's is it, like. Is it similar to like comparing like Slash to Jimi Hendrix? It's just like they're the best to ever do it. They're just different. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like LeBron and Michael Jordan. Like it's it's never gonna be. It's never not gonna be a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. never not gonna be a conversation. Yeah, like yeah, Steph and I mean, we LeBron's were fighting like, before you got here. With no, this shit. <laughs> it, it gets there though, and that's bro. That alone, if you if an artist can get you that passionate, to yeah, oh, yeah. Them, yeah, that's it in itself. You know what I mean? It like, wasn't even like that. Like I'm just keeping it real. Listen, bro. Like, I don't even be listening. Yeah. To yeah. Like that, you know this episode, right? It was like episode like 42. It got like that. Oh, yeah, it got pretty heated. When that you guys one. were talking, nah, he was talking. Nah, show. he was talking Tyler and Kanye. I was like, no, dude, not even fucking. Because close. Tyler is from. Kanye. He's from. He's a Kanye yeah. kid. He's a descendant of Kanye. He's yeah. a descendant. Yeah. So like, he's another. That's but good. going to the the album thing though, he's another one who's made a character for yeah. each album from Cherry Bomb to Flower Boy was like the biggest transition. Yeah. And when I saw him do that and like really, really brought the theme into it, like every song had something about. Gardens or yeah. fucking grass so you, outside. You're like, you were on him on like the Goblin era, oh, like 
bastard Eating era. roaches and like okay, OF cool. tapes. And so like, as OF that tapes. long time fan, mm -hmm. like, does this new album like? Do you feel that like? That old style Tyler, where it's just like, yeah, man, I, this feels like just right. Something bro, about this just feels good. That's so funny. I said that in this barber guy. I was like, bro, he brought the old and brought it with the new. Yeah, like, he doesn't. He's never really done the features like that. His features are very like yeah. Estelle yeah. or like you know what I'm saying shit like that. So he brought Uzi, and NBA Young Boy, Doug, bro. Young that Boy, song when, is hard, bro. That when damn. I heard him come in, yeah. bro, I literally took my shit out, started the song over, and ran it back. I <laughs> yeah. said. That's not NBA Young Boy. Because, you know, he didn't have the features yeah. on, like, the, the yeah. songs until, like, a little bit. So I was like, yo, what? Yeah. I didn't even think he liked these guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? So hearing that and kind of like what J. Cole did, just, like, bringing, like, new shit in, bro. Like, yeah. I don't really like that last J. Cole album, but him doing something different is yeah. what I like about it. Me too. You know? Yeah. 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 For it's, sure. It's really, like, again, just keeping people in. Like, people who listen to 42 Doug would not listen to Tyler in yes. your head but then when he brought it in it's how Kanye does things yeah. like on The Life of Pablo I feel like he had Chris Brown and Young Thug sounding like I'd never heard them before yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying like I like <laughs> that's what Post I love Malone, about it he brings like the best like, out of the features that's like, what I feel putting like putting them on beats like that that they're never gonna be on that's like, what that is cool like that's, that's what I feel like Igor too bro having fucking Playboy Cardi yeah there, bro that's just hard though, and bro. when you watch like his interviews or like documentaries he's done he's talking about the songs and he's like i was making this and i heard their voice on it yeah and then he got him for it it wasn't just like a thing of like yo tap in i'm gonna send this to you let's make some shit you know what i'm saying yeah. where i feel like a lot of days Very it's kind of like that like, yeah. exactly super organic yeah. you know um yeah. even with my project like i wanted it to be like unless i feel it i'm gonna put it on there because there's yeah. features that i cut you know and it's not anything to do with like who they are or their yeah, first being yeah. bad. It's just like it's super for fit. It's feeling for me yeah. for your own like, project. Yeah, for my own. That's project. fucking rad, dude. I feel like nobody does that. No, I feel man. like they have to have them on there just because they came out and did it. But no, it's your project. If you if it doesn't assist with the consistency Bro, or whatever, then bottom you know, one, like um, fuck yeah, dude. Cole, Cole, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 I feel that's 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 what what it is, dude. It's that's your what project. It is. Fucking cut it, you about that. That's what, you know. Uh, my homie Coleman Sutton, how do you spell Cole? He's yeah. in third eye too. Huh? He engineered most of the project, and we had a couple conversations about it. Or like we were trying different things, doing different things with different songs, and he would go a certain direction, mm -hmm. and I was I had to like bring it back. Yeah, you know, and it's it's nothing again against him or anything. Nah. It's like his own creative direction just like took over. But it's like bottom bottom line, this is my album. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying, and I didn't, I didn't say anything like that because that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but no, like, but no, but right, it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, right. that's, that's what it is, and yeah, bro, like, you can bar out. You know what I'm saying, yeah. and again, if it doesn't, if it's not the feeling that I'm going for, yeah, then that's what it is. Kind of like a, I have a song in the middle of the album where I'm just kind of like yelling, yeah, you know, and I didn't write it. I just like yeah. heard the instrumental and I was like. Yes, don't just put this on and keep recording. Yeah, and like so I was not even saying real words at some point. Yeah, like I was, it was because like the feeling. Yeah, mm. and then when I hear it back, every time I hear it, I'm like, bro, I remember feeling. Yeah, like it, it just takes you to that place where you were, and like yeah. yeah and then, like I said, even if it's not me, when someone hears it, they're gonna like feel something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they'll feel like certain timbres of my voice. Like you gotta feel that. Yeah, you know. Um, that's what it is. Like art to me, honestly, is just an expression and a question. Like if yeah, it provokes man. like any type of, then it's art. You yeah, know, like yeah. the Mona Lisa, like one of the most famous paintings, the question is, is she smiling? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a thousand years old, you know, and it's still going. So yeah. like, that's what it's going to, that's what it is. Well, hey, what man. made him do this? What is this? What is this? Why do I like this? Deep, yeah. All of oh, those for real. Some deep shit. Yeah. Well, shit, deep man. Shit. I mean, this has been a pretty damn dope episode, man. Yeah, sure. lie, One of my favorite episodes for sure. <laughs> Seriously. But shit, man, yeah, I guess um, let the people know we know the project's coming out, you know, August. Yeah. Welcome to next year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, August, um, videos, shows, content, uh, plenty of shit for the people. Hell yeah. You know. Um, Locally, back in Nashville, you're going to be back and forth? Yeah, I'm, man, I'm going to be all over. Yeah, all right, um, cool. so just have people, like, Paying attention That's yeah. that's the thing Like people don't know Where I'm at A lot of the time So keeping people engaged Is like big with that Yeah, yeah. Citizen yeah. of the world Man he's all over <laughs> trying, <laughs> Just trying to be bro Just really trying Now do you have The cover already picked out Yeah, yeah the cover's done Like most of the shit Bro my phone right now Feels like a bomb <laughs> There's so much shit That I'm ready to just like Hey y'all want the You know upload real yeah, quick right. But like 
Yeah, when the time's right. Is coming. Everything yeah, is coming. Like, uh, how I promoted Third Party. I promoted that shit for, like, two months. Yeah. You know, uh, before the song was, mm-hmm. like, even realizing that it was a song. Yeah. You know, I was promoting it like it was an actual party. Yeah. So, like, just little shit. Like, this shit is a game, so just try it. Yeah. That's what I want people to do is, like, really... You got an idea, bro? Do it. Yeah. Like, and if it don't work, at least you, like, okay, it didn't work. Yeah. But, like, just wondering and keeping it in your pocket, like, oh, I wonder if they're going to like it. I wonder if they... Yeah, like do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. That's just Ex- fear. Sound talk. advice. Yo. Execute. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. stay consistent. I fuck with All that. Well, yeah. shit, man. Let's do it. Hey, you know Thank what it you. is. I appreciate you guys, hey. man. Oh, Again, man. Yeah, man. This, you too, man. Real quick, great. yeah. This is the shit that I'm talking about. Having a platform, yeah, you know, man. like y'all are really. Yes. Keep this shit going. Thanks, bro. Man. Appreciate Keep that, going. man. Appreciate. I can't wait to like all like the big room. You know what I'm saying? This is where we're at now, bro. This ain't even the beginning. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. Yes. You know what I'm saying, bro? Hey, man. I appreciate Look, man. that, too. Hey. I'm definitely man. clipping that out. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little clip, man. Yeah. Hey, man. Well, hey. As usual, man. We're keeping it live in the 615 out here, man. It's been another episode of MC to MC, man. We got intro on here, man. Woo! Let me do superb. Oh, Tom. Hey, man. We're going to catch y'all next weekend, man. Peace. Peace.